All right, so here's a game that I've uh, never played before, but I've always been interested to give it a try. So here it is. It's called Forsaken 64. It's on the Nintendo 64. Or it might be just called Forsaken. I'm not sure. We'll see what the title screen says. But um, this is by the request of Doughboy Lodulus. All right. Do we need to watch this like whole logo with the iguana and everything? Can I just play the fucking game already? This game was really hyped, and then it kind of came and went, and I don't think I've ever even seen a copy of it, much less played it, so... These logos are a little ridiculous. The fact that you can't skip it is... Ugh, oh, come on. Oh, man. It takes a lot of companies to make this. Better be good. Oh boy. Oh, I don't care about the damn strategy guide. I'm just playing this for a little while. Oh, it is just called Forsaken. It's like weird. The, the ROM's called Forsaken, but in the emulator it, it says Forsaken 64. Alright, so let's try it. Oh, okay, there it says Forsaken 64. So it's both. We'll just call it Forsaken 64. Ah. Locasana, what? Mission nuke status available. Okay. The abandoned nuclear plant is a setting for your first foray into the heart of the Mechanoid Defense Force, or MDF. If you wish to use the Rumble Pack, I don't. This is a. Doesn't work like that. Come on already. What the fuck? Ominous music and darkness. Oh shit. So what is it? Narrator sounds like Duke Nukem. Is this gonna be a first-person shooter? I thought it was like a adventure game of some sort. Oh, that's trippy. Okay, all right. Wow. Whoa, hello. How do I? It is like a first-person game. I thought it was some sort of adv Am I floating? Is it? Oh man! Just all right. Oh, this is crazy. All right. Ah. Get him! Get him! I shot, and now I can't shot no more. How does I shot Web? Oh, A goes forward. Okay. I was wondering about that. I'm like, gotta get away from these enemies, man. Oh. The controls in this are nutty. I'm sure it feels really good on, like, a regular N64 controller, but I'm having a hard time adapting with everything set up to sticks and Oh man. I don't seem to have an attack. I, I had a couple of things that I shot and they're all gone and I'm gonna die and there's a bunch of enemies all around. My shield is gone now. Looking to find some ammo or something. Is that ammo? Scatter. Alright. Oh, it didn't even go in the middle of the thing. That's not a weapon, alright. Yeah, I, for some reason I thought that this was going to be like a, an adventure game. So I'm getting a little bit used to the controls. Orbital Pulsar, uh-oh. No, 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 aim at him. Okay, firing, I can't fire that. Oh wait, maybe I had to select it? I'm just gonna die here, aren't I? Just constantly surrounded by... So, oh, hello! The fact that you could flip right over is very disorienting. This is not at all what I expected. You know though, I, I, I kinda like it. I'm having a lot of difficulties adapting to the control scheme because my controller is laid out like a PlayStation controller and this is more like a 
Yeah, I mean, obviously it's an N64 game, but... I got one. But you know what? I mean, it, it just... I don't know. It seems like a good game. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, missed him. Got him that time, though. If I take it slow now, I can strafe... Yeah, I'm starting to get used to the whole uh, the weird control scheme there. The fact the fact that the C buttons move strafe you, but they also move you up and down. You have to hit A to move forward and B to move backwards. So it's it it can be a little disorienting at first, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. So I guess you just gotta. It's almost like a deathmatch style game, but with bots, and you gotta like. Oh, I missed. Oh, I still got him, though. Splash damage, I guess. I think if I take it slow, I will... Oh, shit. I don't have any weapons anymore. Alright, I need to find... The lack of ammo for... is kind of a pain, I guess. Oh, that's 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 an enemy. I want to get away from that. Oh, oh. Woo! Come on, come on! I know I can fit in there. I... Or I mean, perhaps not. Get away from me. Oh, damn. That's not a good place to go. I was doing really good, and then... I ran out of ammo, and... Wait, 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 wait. But I still don't have a way of attacking. Oh wait, I do. I'm s I discovered another one. I was not hitting that button before. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Finding a bunch of stuff now. I found some shield. Oh, I see the orbital pulsar is like an option thing that circles around you. But you don't see it. You just see it on the radar. Got him. I actually like this. This is cool. Graphics are nice for the N64. It's I was thinking, you know what? I just I just thought of it. I know what game I was I was thinking of a completely different game called Hybrid Heaven which is like an adventure sort of almost RPG thing. So the whole, looks like the whole time I was firing my secondary weapon and the L button fires your prim, prime or it's the Z button is what the problem is. All right, I need to back up here. There's eight enemies left. It just took me a little while to adapt. I'm still adapting to this weird control scheme which is probably wonderful on a on an actual console, uh, N64. I've been just wandering around, though. There doesn't seem to be any sort of map or anything. I wanted to see if there was a map. All right. It says there's eight enemies left. Let me go that way. And it's not that big. I am going in circles here, though. Well, there doesn't seem to be much more to it, so I don't know where these enemies are. Let's go this way. Oh, wait. I can kind of go up there and... Trippy. Very trippy. Whoa. Okay. Alright, let's find our way to some more bad guys, huh? I can go up and then I can hear enemies around me. So I'm getting closer.
No, don't go that way. That leads back down. I don't know, but I can hear enemies, but this is like where I started, it looks like. Oh. The aiming is something I'm going to have to get used to. Whoa. Ooh, going to hide for a second. Is it? Oh, shit. Damn it. I'm almost dead here. There's only one enemy left, though. Just hoping to see if there's a move some life or something. Wait, hold on. Back up. There's something there. Oh, well. Yeah, now that I figured out the primary and secondary weapon thing. I don't know. One more enemy left. It's got to be somewhere around here. I've been playing this for a while, but I just I want to be able to beat like one level. Or die trying. Wait, what about up in there? Something is shooting at me. Oh, that's the enemy right there. Yeah. Okay. I like it. <laughs> I'd like to actually get a cartridge of it so I can actually play it on the N64. Maybe one day I'll see it somewhere. It's a pretty cool game for Sega N64. Uh, it took me a while to get used to controls. Graphics are nice. I enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed watching me dick around with it. See you a little bit later. We're starting a new feature, Mortal Kombat Anthology.